Lesson 6, Unit 2. Project Evaluation. Evaluation is the systematic and objective assessment of an ongoing or completed project, its design, implementation, and results. This is a definition from the United Nations Evaluation Handbook. Evaluation is an important activity that occurs during not only at the closing phase, but can also happen during the life of the project. The goal of an evaluation is to determine the relevance and fulfillment of the objectives, efficiency, effectiveness, impact, and sustainability. An evaluation may focus in some or in all these areas. There are basically two types of evaluations, formative evaluations that are carried during the life of the project, for example, a midterm evaluation. Summative evaluations are carried at the end of the project, some even long after the project ended. In between these two types are many variations, such as process evaluations, outcome evaluations, and impact evaluations. A project evaluation will usually have three goals. To know if the project did the right things, will evaluate the rationale and the logic of the project, will measure the beneficiary satisfaction with the project deliverables and services, and how the project was able to meet their needs. The evaluation will look at how the project delivered the goals in an effective and an efficient manner, the evaluation will identify areas where the project can improve, providing alternatives, good practices, and lessons learned from other projects. Why your project needs an evaluation? At the end of the project, it's important to know what were the results of the project intervention. There can be positive or negative effects that need to be analyzed. Sometimes a project might cause unintended effects that were not part of the plan. The evaluation provides information for the decision-making of stakeholders, donors, partners, and management who will use the evaluation findings to make changes and recommendations to the project or future projects. The evaluation can help identify any problems or unmet needs in the beneficiaries that may need to be addressed in the current or future project. The evaluation will identify issues with sustainability or how the project impact will continue after the project ends. The evaluation will also show if the project was able to deliver the outcomes with efficiency, effectiveness, and how relevant the intervention actions were to solve the problem. The evaluation will provide recommendations to improve the performance of the project and lessons that current or future projects can apply. Some of these recommendations are going to be quite valuable the moment the organization begins to design a new project. Here are some of the basic steps in the evaluation process. The first one is to develop the terms of reference. This document contains all the information to guide evaluation. The work to identify the evaluators based on their knowledge and area of expertise. The work to evaluate the proposals and select an evaluator. Conducting the evaluation, which includes data collection and analysis. The review of the draft report, which gives the project manager an opportunity to ask for clarifications before the final report is submitted. Once a final report is submitted, it is distributed to key stakeholders. Finally, the follow-up actions, such as implementation of the recommendation in the project or in the organization. As a project manager, you will need to be fully involved in the development of the terms of reference, the selection and supervision of the evaluator, including the review of the final draft report. The terms of reference is a critical document for a successful evaluation. The quality and completeness of this document will help the management of the process to find and select the best evaluator or evaluator team that can take on the job. A terms of reference will contain the following. The scope of the evaluation. The data that is available and how it will be made available to the evaluator. A description of the type of methodology required for the evaluation and the resources needed for the evaluation. A timeline that describes the sequence of the work and the expected due date a description of how the budget proposal should be presented and the identification of the main audience of the evaluation report. Once evaluation is completed, these are some of the elements that you will find in the evaluation report. An introduction section with information on the background and the context of the project, including the evaluation methodology that was used. Most of the content of the report will be on the evaluation findings. It will concentrate on the validity of the design, the relevance of the solution to address the problem, the efficiency of how the project was able to use the resources to achieve the goals, an evaluation of the partnership and how they were useful to the project, the effectiveness of the activities of the project, 
the impact of the intervention and how it enables sustainability. Finally, the last two sections will be on conclusions and recommendations for the project and the organization. Once a report is submitted, it is important to share it with all the people that were identified as users of the evaluation report. As a project manager, you will need to plan for the dissemination of the evaluation report and the evaluation follow-up. The report needs to be distributed to key stakeholders, both internal and external, but especially the internal stakeholders, such as project managers and senior management, to get their support to act on the recommendations of the evaluation.